Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So here I came up with the introduction to uh, Siemens and X drafting part one. Here I'll be covering the basics, how to create the standard views and uh, different uh, st uh, detailed views and the section views. Yeah, so if you're dealing with the any of the parts and assemblies, so if you want to create the basic views and the standard views for the models, what you can do is you can directly go to the file drop down from there choose the new option okay so once you do that we'll be having a set of options like the uh, multi access deposit in uh, model okay from here you can choose the uh, part templates and the assembly templates and then other uh, sheet metal and routing templates when it comes to drafting we need to switch to this drawing and from there you can use the uh the sheet size okay it is a2 so when it comes to a2 size you could be able to see the uh, description it is 420 into uh, 594 size see the location and simply click on ok to proceed further so by default you'll get the uh, populate title block you could be able to see here it is in uh, orange right if you type the first issued by xxx so this will be popped up there so when it comes to drawn by you can enter the value like to add the name called Kirish. okay i'll simply close it and this is the by default uh, standard view creation wizard i'd like to explain it now so if you simply zoom in you could see uh, what are the default things you entered it will be popped up here okay now let's deal with the view creation wizard okay so this is the base view to add the uh, single views in one shot to deal with the multi views in one shot you can use the view creation wizard i'll try to use it now so once you do that this view uh, creation wizard tab will open and by default it took only four this is not because of by default four <coughs> while dealing with the uh, options and uh, the uh, layout if you have selected all the layouts so it will take by default all the layouts into account like this so it is the third angle projection all dimension is mm okay now by default if you keep it like this you can able to remove what and all you don't want so let's say i don't want this view anyway i'm having it here isometric view I'd like to remove it so there are two side views i'd like to eliminate one okay i don't even want this side view as well so even bottom view i don't want only these views i'm looking for i can simply take these views into account and when it comes to orientation you could able to check the the, the default orientation first one and you can even change it like this okay according to that each and every views will change but i'd like to keep it the first one as default the right okay and this is the first one remember that okay so i'd like to keep it as this the right view so but practically uh, with respect to requirement this is the top view and this is the front view okay now so once you're done with this you can simply click on finish to take it into account you could see everything is in uh, wireframe right so if you want to convert this into a shaded you just simply double click on the views uh, from the common to these things you can switch to shading and you can switch to fully shaded and apply if you want to apply for all you can select all the views and you can apply the same thing here i'd like to keep it only for isometric view meaning is fine okay so now you could see uh, for each and every views it has the borders right I want to remove it to remove that you can go to the menu drop down from there you can use the preferences from there uh, go to uh, drafting and from there we have the view okay so initially we'll be having like this you can switch to view from there workflow is there from there the border display you turn it off 
and apply now you could see everywhere the rectangular box is there once apply it that will be removed isn't it quite simple right so this is for uh, this model i'd like to showcase the uh, section view detail view and standard views so for this model okay let's uh, start with this so i'd like to again use the same thing new okay so again i'd like to utilize a2 shade format from the drawing template yeah by default i don't want to add anything i'll keep it like this so this is by default i don't want to use this this time I'd like to use the base view just select it and try to add the view so scale is one is to one you can switch from here to one is to two i want this view okay initially i'll take it and from there i would like to have the side view like this okay so i'd like to close it now because it is taking this view as a reference and it is creating all the views i don't want this you can close this now so if you want you can realign so if you want you can even add the uh, top view but i would like to add the section view here and switch to the section view and select the center as a reference okay this is the uh, second reference point uh, the orientation should be different uh, let me just close it and restart control Z go to section view okay dynamic like to have it you could see so this is uh, a perpendicular to the direction and if I move it like this this is what I'm looking for this is from this way so if you want downwards you can just drag it down and you'll get this section view now here I would like to have the detail view you can switch to this detail view tab and you can even add it like this as you can even have it here only fine so once this is done So now uh, let me just try to add the one more view I would like to use the projected view so here you're not going to get any of the asymmetric views so better don't use this we'll go with the uh, base view and uh, try to have the isometric view from here this is what the asymmetric view is but I don't want this I would like to have it one is to two uh, I want to use the custom one you can use this uh, orient view tool from here choose this and try to orient your model inside this uh, orient view graphic like this right so once you place it simply click on ok get the model you can place it so if you want to convert this into graphics you can just go to this fully shaded apply done so uh, just if you want to align them you can just again place it wherever you want detail view uh, the side view if you want you can have it if it is not needed you can simply delete them okay and the asymmetric view if you want to maximize it uh, you can just check for the scaling of this view let me see general can switch to one is to one apply okay 
now for these views i don't want these all the uh borders you can switch to menu from there use the preferences go to crafting and display apply okay fine so this is how uh, we can create the basic views section views and uh, detail view in chart yep so that's all yeah, before that, I would like to just showcase how to export this uh, draft to PDF format. You can go to File, go to Export, Export as what? PDF. Just choose this. Just define the location where you want to save it. I would like to add it on the desktop. Click OK and apply. So I already saved it before. I would like to replace it. Just click OK. So this will be saved now. If you want to access this just switch to the location where you have saved it and just double click on it you can able to see this right yep so uh, that's all about this session and this we have covered the basics how exactly we need to uh, import the model into the uh, drawings and add the uh, views with respect to the uh, view creation wizard and the uh, base view method and section views detail views okay yep so that's all about this session thank you guys stay tuned bye everyone